We began planting grapes in uh, 1974, and by 1980, we had about uh, six acres of grape vines in the ground. And I decided to see if we could put together a winery. By that point in time, there were three wineries here in Temecula Valley. In that first year, 1980, we made uh, about 800 cases of wine and uh, two reds and one white. So we're among the early pioneers uh, of all those early wineries. We're the only one that is still under its original ownership, still under the family, Hart family ownership. So uh, we have um, since then, of course, um, grown considerably, although we're still a very small winery. And we produce um, currently about 4,000 cases a year. We have a fairly warm climate. We can't make big, giant, over-extracted wines. I think they, they tend to start all tasting the same. You lose the character of the, of the fruit that you're working with, and I think the best winemakers are the ones that understand a place and are able to have the fruit speak to that place. Say a Tempranillo, it shouldn't be like a Rioja Tempranillo. It's a Temecula Tempranillo, so the winemaker kind of has to a little bit restrain themselves and stay out of the way and let the place and the fruit and the vineyard speak. Something special about working with, uh, with your own grapes from your own vineyard because you get to follow that fruit from pruning in the fall when the vines are dormant up through bud break and bloom and fruit set and you tend those vines through the entire growing season and you also get to complete the process by turning those grapes you've been working with all year into wine. So it's, it's a more complete experience than, than just going out and waiting for the uh, grapes to come into the winery from another grower, no matter how good a job he's doing. There's something very special about working with your own grapes because you get to follow them all through this entire growing season and then through the winemaking season, all the way from pruning in the fall to bottling and enjoying the wine post-harvest and post-aging. It's a special experience.